What's going on, y'all? It's your brother Maurice coming to you, man. Thank you, thank you, Lord, for his grace and mercy today to bring another video before you today, man. Just pull over water, water burger. Just had to give a quick word, man. You know, hey, show yourself a man. I remember David told Solomon, man, show yourself a man out here. You know, I'll tell you what, I'm not phobic, but I do believe that the confusion we have nowadays with this gender stuff is really causing a lot of problems. I mean, let me not just beat up on that, you know, I mean, but it is. It is a big issue. It is a big issue, man. I mean, I'm still single. And sometimes I I have to admit, I wonder, man, you know what? If it wasn't so much confusion out here, I wonder if it would be a lot easier, you know. And not only that, but the way people are treated, or women are treated too. So it's a lot of factors to it, man. But I definitely just want to say, man, show yourself a man out here. Uh, we, we need to motivate these youngsters coming up, women and men, uh, to live the right way and not to be influenced by um, just – different forces man so so thank you for today uh thank you for listening in today uh god bless y'all uh show yourself a man out here let's let's eradicate the confusion let's eradicate the fact that um there's actually a desire that is not for women that's that's the biggest lie y'all i'm trying to tell y'all i believe the enemy is working through homosexuality because he's 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 making it seem like you can actually cut it cut it off you can actually cut the desire off and then, and then you, and then you think about it. Why is there so much fornication? Why is there so much, so many problems, break breakups? I'm telling you, there's more to it than just a man a man. There's a there's a there's a message behind it that I'm telling you, I'm a man. And I, I'm telling you, like I ain't never, I you can't cut it off. Like there's there's no cutting it off. Like that's how I know it's a plumb lie. Cause bro, I. I you can't cut it off. Like you, when you wake up in the morning, like when you go throughout the day, like when you see a woman, especially if you're single like me, like there ain't no cutting off, bro. Like you like it, and there is no, there is no nothing. Like you, the devil is a lie. I'm telling you. And then, if you think about it, the reason why I got a little bit, of, the reason why I got more of a problem with it is not so much as the person. To me, I have a little bit of of anger towards it because the the message that it sends is sending a conflicting message now if you think about it, it you send the message that well you know what maybe men don't really maybe men do have a choice there no, let me let me let me help y'all understand something do not believe that <laughs> do not believe that i'm telling you i'm i'm I promise, man. I, the Bible says, "Do not swear," so I ain't gonna swear. But I'm telling you, there you do. There you don't have no choice. Like if you a man, you like women. You like women, y'all. And and see, and that's the problem too. See, and then when a man comes across like that, now he want to be looked at like something wrong with him, or he's uh, you know, he got too much going on. That see, and I'm telling you, the reason why I have a problem with that is because let me let me say this. There's a lot of breakups, right? And and marriages and relationships. There's a lot of breakups. So now I got a problem with that. You know, I got a problem with that because when you send a message that ah, I don't really need men, men don't really need women. Now, to me, you causing a lot of confusion, bro. You causing a lot of confusion. You causing a lot of destruction because now when you send a message to the women that ah, we don't really need y'all. Now, so they now they feel like, well, you know what? They can turn off their sexuality if they want to. You see what I'm saying? So now they feeling like we don't really need it all the time. Like, of course, I'm celibate because I, I respect the word of God, but I don't have no funniness about me in that in that way. I'm just saying that while I'm single and I'm and I'm living for the Lord, I'm staying pure and I'm not having sex. But the thing is, though, in marriage, if you think about it, it's always to get married or if you be in a relationship, even if somebody's not living celibate like me, you know, we all have lifestyles. We all make mistakes. But I'm just saying I believe that it's causing a lot of confusion, like I just said, not to repeat myself too much, but it's causing a lot of confusion, y'all, because, because th I think about it, you're giving the message that you can cut off your desire for women, which is a lie, unless you've been gifted, but the Bible says for this present day, it's, it's good that every man have a wife, so ultimately, he said it's best, especially because the fornications are going on, and that's, and that's another thing, too. Look, even Paul said in the Bible, he said, it's best that a man have a wife for this present day fornication. So he's letting you know that's how strong the male desire is. 
is that he's saying you need to get married because that's how powerful it is. But but like I said, I don't have a phobia so much against, you know, the person of of, a, of this homosexual uh, thing. But my, my thing is the message you're sending. It's affecting other people. People think, oh, we're not affecting other people. Yes, you are. You're affecting other people because now you making it. Now you send a confusion throughout the world that men can cut this off. The men are born in different ways. Man, I can tell you right now, that's, and, and then you wonder why men get so angry and why people have a problem with it? Because it's foolish. Because it's it's like, bro, do you know how much I fight just to not, just to stay pure? And you sitting here making women believe that you can cut this off? Bruh, stop. Like you causing problems for men out here. Because now you giving the the you giving the message to women. Like I think I, I think I said this, but let me just clarify. Now women are probably thinking, like, oh well. Men tripping, they don't really need. So if if you got women thinking they don't need it like that, they don't need that. They don't need that affection. They don't need that sex. Now it's like you gonna have women pushing men away because you got them thinking like men are doing too much. When in reality, you can't cut it off. Like I'm telling you, like yeah, you may be able to, you know, find a way of escape while you, you know, so you can keep from fornicating. But I'm telling you, your desire for a woman does not cut off. Like every like every time you see a woman, there's something that there's something that rises up in you. I'm not talking about physically, or maybe that too, but <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm as a single man, of course. When you marry, of course, you gotta, you know, you're supposed to be only focused on your wife. But when you're single, you're looking. So I'm, obviously, you're gonna be turned on by some women. But I'm talking about emotionally too, and you know, mentally, something rises up within you that that this that you have an attraction for a person, man. So. I'm telling y'all, let's, I, let's, you know, the, uh, at the beginning of this thing, I said, Solomon told David, show yourself a man. I was thinking to myself, like, you know what, I'll come here a little bit. I was like, you know what, I got to make sure I look like a man out here because it's too much confusion going on and it's causing more problems than what I believe a lot of people think. And those who support it, be aware of the problems that it's causing because it can cause problems for you too. Because it, because like I said, let me just clarify this one more time. And people might think, oh, you're thinking too deep into it. I don't believe I am because the Bible says the devil is the author of confusion. See, that's what happens when you play with the enemy. Look, this is the thing. See, y'all think the devil is just dumb. Y'all think, I, I believe that he knows what he's doing. He knows that if he puts the message out there, oh, well, they were born this way. They were born to like men. So now what is he doing? He's, he's taking away, he's taking away the, the, the desire that, that a man has for a woman. So what happens? That plants a seed of confusion in the mind of a woman. It says, well, I don't know, like, maybe men don't really need me. I like, like, you know, maybe that, so now it's like, well, maybe they don't really need it. So now it kind of waters down their, their fervency and say, I need to make sure my man gets it because, oh, my husband, of course, not man, but my, my husband, whatever, you know, or, or in a relationship too, I'm not talking about sex, but I'm talking about just emotion, attention, like, you know, physical affirmation, like it, it, it waters down that. Cause now, cause you send a, you plant the seeds of confusion, making the woman believe that a man can actually shut this off, or a man is born in a way that doesn't desire a woman. That's a that's a serious, habitual, abominable lie, and it's caught and it's affecting it's affecting a lot of people. Cause like I said, once again, I got to emphasize this: you affecting the female's thinking process. Cause you know, especially those who may not have the role model well the people that don't have enough guidance like they should you 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 and the bible says the god is a defender of the helpless and the weak so you got to be careful cuz you supporting this or you are this that you send the message and you and you messing up a lot of people in the world cuz you send the message that's going to cause confusion in relationships marriages you send the message that's saying oh well a man don't really have to have a woman that's a lie or, or he really don't, not every man desires a woman, that's a lie, amen, so when you send that message, you're causing confusion, and you reap what you sow, you reap what you sow, amen, so don't be surprised if people have a problem with that, because really, behind closed doors, that's what you're doing, <laughs> you're, 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 um, you're hindering a man from reaching his desire, like he wants to, because, now, of course, not every woman's going to be like that, but don't get me wrong, <coughs> not everyone was like that, but I'm just saying it, it does it does have that stigma, amen. Don't don't think it's just simple, but amen. So 
that's my word of wisdom for today. I just want to put that out there, man. Um, you know, cause I think people think it's all about beating up on homosexuals when it's like, you know, I, I, I you know, I'm so saying whatever. Like, you know, I know there's other stuff going on out there, you know, but let's be realistic, man. What type of man, and I'm not saying this in a funny way, but what type of man is going to sit back and be like, oh, well, it's all sin. Come on, man, be realistic. That's, that's like, you know, somebody killing your family member and then you feel like, oh, well, you said somebody's getting killed or not, not all sin is not sin, y'all. That's, that's a lie. That is not the truth. All sin is not sin, guys. Come on now. You, we have to really, we have to really understand. Come on now, y'all. I know good and well, people of God should not be using that phrase. Hey, Amen. All sin, I see it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Come on now, you already know some stuff is worse than worse than others. But to God be the glory, man. Hey, it's it's not about beating up on one sinful people, a group of people in the world. But the but the fact is though, you know, people want to live in peace, man. You know, people want to live in peace, and the people who don't need to just like, bruh, like, I'm just saying. I guess you know, hey, I'll leave the rest up to God. That I'm just doing, I'm just being a tool. I'm just a vessel. So I plant that seed out there today and straighten up, man. If you like dudes, man, you know, don't feel bad. Even though man, I ain't never did, I ain't never felt like that. Don't feel bad about changing. Don't think it's too late. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I mean, I used to smoke. You know, I used to go out to clubs. I used to mess with women. And that's a despicable thing, too. Even though it may seem a little bit more honorable than a homosexual, it's still not right. So no matter what you're doing, you know, and, and uh, no matter what you're doing, you got to turn around. I, I, I had to turn around, man, you know, and, and yeah, sometimes it hurts your ego because now, you know, you got to start over. It's almost, it's almost not like, I don't say start over because God's him. It's all things new, but well, you do got to start over. I ain't gonna lie to you. You do kind of got to start over because it, it kind of hurts your ego because now all this, all the things you were doing the easy way and getting the way you want it in the world, you have to turn back around and you have to do it God's way and it hurts your ego because you thought you were like, you thought, you know, you was like, man, I got it going on. I got 50, I got like 20 numbers in my phone and I'm talking to all of them back in the world. You know, I, mean, I got, I got plugs on call. I, I'm, you know, I got homies in the hood, like whatever I, I got. Needless to say, I'm not saying I was street life like that. I'm just telling you everything seemed so easy when you were living or, you know, you, you was able to, uh, do what you want on the job, do what you want to do, do what you want to do with your money because you didn't have really no morals. So it was more of like a, you know, a phase I went through, but now I was like, man, you know what, man, I was like, it, it hurts your ego a little bit because God was like, yeah, I know you thought you had it going on, but those are stretch that <laughs> time to start back over time to start back over, man. Yeah. You can't get no girl that way. I know you had 20 some girls in your phone book and you was talking to them all and they all was pretty too. But boy, I tell you when God, and don't get me wrong, I wouldn't, I wasn't, you know, sex and all of them. I'm just saying, I was just, that's how much I would just go up, and go, go talk to them. And I'd be bam, just like that number in the phone book. Like that's how easy it was. But now, you know, when you turn around and look for God, it hurts your ego because it hurts your, it hurts your, it hurts you a little bit. Cause you're like, dang, you know what? I was, I was so quick. I, I I knew how to do it so good the easy way. It's like, you know, it hurts you to, to recognize like I got to do it the right way. Like you know, I got to do it God's way because you feel like you deserve more. But really, that's really pride because, yeah, you can get more doing it the 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 halfway, but doing it God's way the right way, it it, it really. <laughs> It, it hurts and it makes you feel like, you know, it makes you like upset. You're like, man, I, boy, I know I could do it. But when you got the Holy Spirit, it's not really even a question anymore. Because you're like, you know what? I know what doing it, the, the taking shortcuts leads to. So it's not really like you struggle with whether I want to do it or not. But you just, you struggle with, it's not you struggle, but you fight against the people who rub it in. Because they think like, they, they think they got it going on so much. They think they got it going on and what you're doing and you just, they just think something wrong with you. Right. And that's a fight because you looking in the word of God, you like, I know what I got to do to, to get to what God wants me to do. And it's a lot harder than what people think. 
the thing is though, yeah, some people of God have have made it to a point of success. And that takes a lot of work, y'all. That's a, that takes a lot of work. And yeah, it's like a gut punch. I mean, the Lord will punch you in your stomach. He'll punch, he'll chastise you like he said, I don't care what you think. He said, you're going to do it my way. That's the end of the story. That's how God is. God don't care about your feelings. God don't care about your hurt ego. He don't care about your hurt emotions. He's like, he said, I, God said, I'm God. God is the Lord. He's the God of everything. And God don't care about if you're going to throw a fit. He don't care about if you don't want to do it his way. You're going to do what you want to do. You're still going to end up having the same consequences. I'm telling you, you got to you got to bear down and say, I'm gonna do it God's way. And that's what I had to do. And a lot of people don't like that because you got to go through the suffering. But a lot of people don't want to go through the suffering though. Because because you gotta suffer just like the same people you was making fun of, the same people you was persecuting when you was living in the world, you're gonna have to go through that same thing. Oh, you weak. Oh man, you you something wrong with you. Like, oh, you a you a lame, you know. You ain't got no swag. Like all them, all them hurtful things people gonna think about you or say about you. You got to go through it because, because you recognize that God is the Father and He puts limits on what you can have. You can't just do whatever you want to do. And when you can't do whatever you want to do, people who don't understand the Father's way is gonna think some. They gonna think something wrong with you. And guess what? There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> That's what persecution is, y'all. That's what suffering is. But, hey, at the end of the day, you just got to keep on waiting on God, you know? You just got to keep on waiting on God, amen? So to God be the glory and just be that light and be that shining light to, to where people say, man, you know what? Why was he suffering back there? But now I see him doing better. You know, people will start to catch on like, well, maybe there's something to this. So that's 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 what our hopes are, that somewhere down the line, people can see the light shine in our lives and want to change their lives too, amen? So hope y'all hope y'all enjoy that testimony, man. Show yourself a man in this day and time. You guys out there, man, if you're just ignorant in what you're doing, if you're not, then that's 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 between you and God. But if you're out there doing things ignorantly, man, you know, messing with other men, man, put your ego to the side and just start and just, hey, just turn around. Turn around and start going the right way. You know, it's going to hurt your ego. You're going to have to suffer. You're going to have to learn a whole new lifestyle. And it may take you, I don't know how long, that's one of the most hurtful things about living in the world and then having to turn to God. I, I feel like a lot of people don't want to do it is because it hurts real bad turning around and having to do things God's way because you were so, you were, I'm just saying, I don't want to keep on going, but it was so much going on for the world that it takes so long to retrain your brain, your mind to do things the right way. It takes so long, y'all. And yeah, sometimes we may hinder the process. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to make it seem like, oh, God's just so hard and so tough and I'm just poor old me. No, nah, I mean, sometimes, you know, I can prolong that process. I'm sure other people do too. But that's just part of being a human. You know, you're going to do things like the, like Israel did to prolong the process, you know, by complaining, by doubting. But we want to build faith. We want to build our, our we want to stop doubting and have faith and just, you know, continue to push and do our best to respect God's way and not complain about it, not doubt it, because that's what God had a problem with a lot of the time. And he also had a problem with the, with the children of Israel when they were delivered from uh, Egypt and the Exodus. And he also had a problem with the man that did not invest the talent in God, you know, or in his master, basically, for his master. That's the same thing with God. God don't like when we don't invest our talent for him. We say he's too hard or we say, oh, man, he's too hard. Oh, God, you don't deserve my service. God is displeased with that type of attitude when we don't. When we don't put in some effort and yeah, you can, yes, of course, God would rather you do your best, but God, God said, man, you could at least took it and put it in the bank. So in other words, God's like, man, you could at least did something for the kingdom. You could at least pray. You could, uh, you, you could at least did something for the kingdom. Amen. That's what God is saying today. So man, to God be the glory, do something for the kingdom of God, do something for the Lord, you know, pray, you know, read your Bible. Anyways, man, to God be the glory. I just want to share that with y'all, man. And um, oh, man, hey, it's gonna be, it's gonna be. Don't get me wrong, y'all. With all that, with all the negative things and all the chastisement, the consequences you have to face, man. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this much, y'all. The glory, the glory, though. Mm, uh, yeah, you can't even explain it. You can't even explain it. The peace, the peace, and just the strength that comes from it, man, is something you can't explain, y'all. 
So to God be the glory. Um, may I turn around for the Lord. And um, yeah, just, just turn around for the Lord, man. And live right. God bless. God bless you.